Washington State, their race for the Senate seat is getting very, very interesting. It's been a tough couple of weeks for Florida Congressman Patrick Murphy. A report took aim at his resume, and now he is working to defend it. News Channel 8's Candace McCowan explains how this could all play out in the election. Congressman Patrick Murphy has all the support you could ask for. The Democratic Party ready to fight for him and President Barack Obama endorsing him. Having that endorsement is about as big as it gets and we're very excited. But the congressman has hit some turbulence. A report taking aim at his resume worked to show the congressman isn't all he showed himself to be. We thought he would just kind of embellished on his resume for his college degree, which I didn't think was very much. Then about his BP work with his environmental firm. And now it apparently his uh, CPA took him multiple times to pass. Patrick Murphy was starting to pull ahead, I think structurally, but then he's had a horrible week and a half and his campaign has not responded well. Giving his opponent, Congressman Alan Grayson, some room to appeal to voters. So I think he's very badly damaged. And I think that you're gonna see Grayson will have a, a, a surge here. What Patrick Murphy has done uh, is basically uh, signed the back of pack checks for a living now for the past three years. But we could see a long-term impact if Grayson were to win the Senate Democratic primary. Republican he would have a tough it. election fight. Now the problem is, I think temperamentally, Floridians like somebody who's moderate. Patrick Murphy had the temperament to win in a general election. I don't think Grayson does. Making it all the easier for Republicans to maintain the Senate seat. Time will tell just under two months before the primary. Candace McCowan, News Channel 8. Ah, the road.